Okay, uh, I brought the camera out. This is actually the field test. I'm actually having to use myself as a kind of wind block um, with this camera as of most cameras to be fair. They are not very good uh, for sound in the wind. So I apologize if it's not uh, brilliant sound on this, but unfortunately that cannot be helped. Uh, the first few sort of tests I want to do are going to be based around the zoom um, as this is probably one of the most uh, popular reasons this camera would be brought um, so I'm going to go ahead uh, the first target is going to be that uh, the red post there so I'm bringing this up to full zoom um, one thing I have noticed actually is this camera doesn't seem to go no this won't go into digital zoom I don't believe on video so I, I must apologize it's very shaky the wind is so strong today but that's the sort of zoom you're gonna get um, this is going back down to wide angle so that is a one hell of a camera one hell of a zoom on this one I'm already really starting to like this. Um, I'm just going to pause this a second. I'm going to go back into the settings and just see if I can get the uh, the digital zoom to work on this. Okay, unfortunately it seems that the, uh, the digital zoom won't actually work when it's in movie mode, uh, which is a bit of a shame actually, but... Um to be honest, with the digital zoom, you're going to be shaking quite a lot unless you have a tripod, so I don't think it's going to be uh, that missed, to be honest. Uh, so what I've done, I've gone into uh, picture mode, I've actually taken quite a few pictures, um, one at wide angle, full wide angle, halfway, and then at full zoom, and then I've done again with the digital zoom. So uh, what I'll, I'll put these uh, onto my Dropbox account and I'll have the link ready so you can download the whole set and compare them yourself. Uh, okay, I've got a few of the, uh, the shots there. Um, the next thing I want to try is actually macro. Uh, now I know on this beach, uh, bear with me, where's the microphone going? I know on this beach there's usually lots of little shells and things, so let me go and find some of those. Uh, let's try out this macro. Um, after this, I'm going to head down to the other side of the beach and there will be some seagull pros, usually, anyway. Uh, so we can test out the, uh, the sports facility um, for moving objects. But so far, so good. Right, we're coming up to the shells now, so I'm going to take a few more pictures. Okay, macros are done. Side of the beach, they've got different things that are giving me a lot of nice colours to test out. Um, but now we're heading to the opposite side, as I said. Uh, there's actually some seagulls I can just see on down this side of the beach now. Also, it is getting quite low level light now. The sun will be going down shortly. Hopefully, I've timed it right. I should be here in time for the sunset as well. I don't want to stay out too cold, uh, too long because I'm freezing right now. I also, uh, I have done a 360 panorama view, uh, it's fairly easy with this camera, you literally just uh, stand still and spin yourself around and it does all the calculations and everything that uh, the camera needs to do and hopefully that should come out nicely. I say, uh, again I'll put that in with the, uh, all the other files for you to download and view at your own pleasure. Right, um, I'm going to test this sports feature then. I can see there's a couple of birds here. Um, let's see what this turns out like. Right, I'm actually in video mode again. I have to apologise, it is very, very difficult to keep this camera still. It has got image stab stabilisation, but still in this wind it is very difficult. Being quite a large camera as well, I mean, this weighs just over 600 grams. I, mean, I would recommend possibly taking a tripod out. It's something I don't have at my disposal at the moment, but I think I am definitely going to purchase one.
Just wanted to point out, I was actually halfway across the beach, there is a boat, a very large ship, uh, or a boat, on the very horizon. Uh, I have just tried taking a picture, but I cannot seem to get it on either manual. You can just make it out in the back though, actually. It is struggling quite hard. Um, obviously there's not much difference in colour between the sky and the sea, so it is struggling quite a bit to stay on fo in focus. I'm just going to have one more attempt in a photo, I'll let you know the outcome. Well, I got it. I'm actually very impressed. <laughs> uh, that took a, um, a lot of work trying to get that there, but in the end I did get it. Uh, as you can see, it is a very, very long way away. That was awesome. Uh, so impressed with this. I honestly, I was going to originally do that because I thought it was a con. Um, a bad point about the camera, but it turned out to be brilliant, so uh, thumbs up again. Right, anyway, um, let's go and find some seagulls. Let's try this out. Right, I was actually just talking into the camera for a little while, but uh, I didn't realise once I actually pressed one of the buttons... Oh, that's got away from me. Once I actually pressed one of the buttons, it uh, stopped recording, so... Right, that was very nice. Unfortunately, my video skills wasn't. Um, but there you go, the, the seagulls are back. Right, uh, once again, I'm going to take a few photos and get back to you. Um, this is going to be one of the last tests, so I'm going to do a few more because the, the light levels are getting quite low. This is one of the last tests for now, so hopefully uh, this all goes to plan. Okay, well this is coming to a close now. Um, I say, I've got most of the photos that I wanted. Um, unfortunately, oh actually I can try that again in a second. I want to try again some with the shutter speed. I'd really like to get some pictures that make the, the, uh, the water look like it's actually flowing. Um, but mostly what I've been able to do today, there's been a few macro shots. I've managed to um, get some shots of animals moving. Um, that's a big thing for me especially. I'm going to be doing a lot of wildlife uh, photographs. So having something that can keep up with wildlife and whatnot is really important. Um, one thing I would like to point out when it was autofocusing sometimes, uh, you half press the shutter and it takes a few, uh, like uh, maybe about a second to, to focus in. By which point when I was trying to photograph some of the birds, I'd half press the shutter and they'd moved off, but the screen would freeze. So you've got to try and keep an eye out, one eye on the bird and one eye through the camera, if you understand. Um, that's how I had to overcome it in the end. So you're kind of staring at it uh, at two different angles. It's quite strange, but um, there is ways to overcome it, but I didn't really like that. It wasn't, uh, wasn't the best situation. Uh, the best thing to really do, there is a setting where it's um, autofocus. Um, it autofocuses once, and then you can just keep continuous shooting. Um, as I say, I managed to get, I think, was a, a flock of cranes flying over the ocean. I managed to get quite a few pictures of that. Hopefully they've turned out nicely. But uh, anyway, enough of that. Overall, um, I say, for myself, I wanted a camera that could A, take full HD video, two, had a, zo a brilliant zoom on it. I wanted something with a big range. Um, number three, I wanted a nice macro, and number four, I was looking at um, the small SLRs. I didn't want to take around a big DSLR with three, four, five different lenses. It was just, um, for someone like me that travels around a lot, it's not the ideal camera. Um, so in the end, Obviously I went for this and I am more than pleased. Um, it's been an absolutely fantastic camera. It's not heavy. It's got a massive zoom. 
Uh, you can do anything from a, uh, a, sh a shell that's one centimetre away to fil uh, photographing a ship that was at least, uh, I'm not, I wouldn't like to really say, but it was at least, say, five miles away. No, maybe not that much. It was, it was a massive difference. It was uh, the middle of the bay, and that bay is at least 10, 10 miles. It must, it must have been about five miles away. I mean, it wasn't the best photo, but it just shows the capabilities of what this camera can achieve. Well, that was the first. Um, I just spent a little while, there's two seagulls there, and I noticed one had something inside its mouth. Uh, it was quite a big thing. Uh, it picked it up from the uh, the sea at first. I thought it was um, like a, a mussel or an oyster or something. Actually, you'll see from the photos, it was pretty awesome. It was actually eating a starfish. And in the end, it, it ate two of its legs and it just swallowed the rest of it whole. That was pretty spectacular. Um, yeah, <laughs> really cool. I was just, uh, I was so surprised. That was awesome. Uh, okay, I mean, the sun's almost down. I have taken some photos. There was a request for some low light level photos. I have taken a few. In fact, that whole series with the starfish that I will upload was all low, all low light level. Um, again, I'll get some video footage just so you can see now on YouTube. Uh, this is sort of um, what you're gonna expect from a, a low light level shot from this camera. Of course, with the photos, you can take the shutter speed um, up or down. I can't remember how you say it, but uh, that's that's what you're looking at. Right, one more. I'm getting so cold, so um, I'm just going to wait until the sunset now. Okay, I, I've got to apologise. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the, the sunset tonight. Um, it's getting really, really way too cold out here now. I haven't got any gloves or anything with me. Uh, what I'll have to do is, um, it'll give me another reason to come out again, I guess. Uh, maybe to a different location. Uh, we can try maybe trees, uh, that type of thing. Uh, so I'm going to start heading back and get this video on YouTube.